both Mr. and Ms. Young have testified that they do not know uh, the location of and are not in possession of the second flash drive that uh, at one time they had. They say it was lost. And what this really boils down to is whether this court believes that. Now, I've been a judge for 14 years and I've been in practice for 30 plus years. And uh, though as I understand contempt, contempt is when you purposefully disobey an order of the court. And as I sit here tonight, I don't know. You know and God knows, but I don't know. Uh, so I have two choices. I could lock you up for 75 days, let you stay there and see if your memory's getting better and you figure out where it is and see what happens. Or I could say you were purged tonight because you at least have gotten on stand on the oath and said to me, I don't have it. And I think under the context, given that I've never locked anyone else, anyone up on a supposition on what people individually feel, but on hard evidence, I'm not going to lock you up. But let me say, or please, let's, let's, let's respect the dignity of the court. I'm not pleased with the way this has unfolded. And as long as I'm a jurist on this case in any context, this has got to stop. 